Well, good morning, and thank you very much for joining us. The start of a new year means the start of a new legislative session, at least on even or odd numbered years, I should say, on Beacon Hill. And that's why we're pleased to have with us, obviously, a very key person in what's going to happen uh, in the new legislative session the president of the Massachusetts Senate, Karen Spilka of Ashland. She's beginning her first full term as president of the Senate after succeeding Harriet Chandler last summer. Madam President, welcome. Thank you so much for inviting Good me. Good to have you here. Looking Thanks forward to, to talking with you regularly here. That um, great. Now, Governor Baker, way back when, famously refused to sign a no new taxes pledge. And while both he and the House have resisted new broad-based tax hikes, we have seen new taxes in recent years. The uh, tax on businesses to help fund health care, mm -hmm. uh, the tax on short-term rentals like Airbnb. In your remarks opening the Senate's session the other day, you said that that's no way to run a railroad, essentially. That, quoting now, we must create an economic development and tax framework for the 21st century where businesses can develop and thrive, but where we also capture new revenue to continue providing essential services and fund our vision for our future, end quote. Right. What do you have in mind? Well, what I would like to do is uh, have whoever is chair of the Revenue Committee on the Senate convene a group of senators, experts in the field. We are, our, our economy is growing and changing so rapidly with so many technological changes. We haven't been keeping up. It's been, uh, we've been doing it piecemeal. We make laws to change in how we tax the home sharing or the ride sharing businesses, but we're years behind. You know, the legislature moves slowly. It takes time. So it not only uh, decreases our tax revenue, but in terms of regulation and handling all the new economy, the new technology, it, cre it creates a lot of confusion for the businesses, for government officials, for the consumers themselves. It would be great if we could figure out some way to do it more proactively, look at what a 21st century tax system should be. I don't have all the answers to that, but it, it, would, it would mean looking at our economy. Well, one of the areas that you and others have identified as likely needing new revenues uh, in the near future is public transit, the MBTA. Yes. Uh, over 11 years now since a special commission appointed by then Governor Patrick on transportation recommended, uh, among other things, a gas tax increase of almost 50 percent that would have brought it up to 35 cents a gallon. That went nowhere. Do you think that's among the ideas that ought to be revisited? Well, I think the people of the Commonwealth are... are urging us to be bold with our particularly areas such as transportation, climate change, education funding reform. Uh, we need to have an honest discussion. It's a priority of not only the Senate, but of the Speaker in the House and of the Governor and his administration. We, you know, the Governor mentioned it yesterday, but we need to have an honest discussion. How, how are we going to accomplish some of these, you know, bold uh, issues and areas and, and not have anything off the table? Well, not to be presumptuous, but I can tell you right now what the governor and the speaker are going to say when you start talking about possible broad-based tax hikes, not so much a gas tax, but, say, income or capital gains. They're going to say, well, that's, that's too risky. That could damage the economy. It could scare away investment. It could. It could also grow the economy. I don't know, and I'm not necessarily saying we need broad-based tax increases right now. I did support, and I still support, the millionaire's tax. Uh, I realize even if that was, was passed, it would, would not be for another four years. That would have provided a billion for education funding, which we desperately need, and a billion for transportation. But you want to see, this, see what the options are? I think we and, need and an honest. I think we need an honest discussion, yeah. and, and then see where it goes. Honest uh, meaning everything's on the table. It, it should be, yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, what do we want to do? How are we going to pay for it? All right. Let's on that note take a quick break, and we'll continue our conversation with Senate President Karen Spilka in just a moment. So please stay with us. <laughs> 